Hey everybody, it's Alex with Amtuned, another uh, informational video. I get a lot of people asking me how to uh, free up the hydraulic uh, tappets in the roller rockers. Uh, usually when people send in their cylinder heads to us, uh, we require that the cams are out, the roller rockers are out, the roller rocker shafts are out. That way it's just a head. You can keep the valves and the valve springs all assembled. We take care of all of that. And then you want to make sure that you number the cam caps on the cylinder heads. So for example, these cam caps, so this one's not cle cleaned yet, as you can tell, but you want to make sure you number them. Uh, reason being is they are lined honed to each head individually. So if you mix them up or try putting them in, in different places, your clearances are going to be off and a lot of things can happen your your engine can eat itself pretty much but usually what happens is people will see that the sprockets on the end of the cams either the exhaust single sprocket or the adjustable mechanical adjuster the bolts for those will actually back out reason being is when the clearance is too small and the metal expands from heat uh, these guys will just swell and then it'll grab the cam and essentially it'll spin the bolt out on the back and that's when you bend a lot of valves happens to quite a few people unfortunately but now to this so here is a roller rocker with the hydraulic tappets in it so a lot of times they're still moving you see this you want the tappers tappets to be squishy Reason being is they are hydraulically ad adjusted. So you don't want to mix them up um, if you're not going to be doing this because they're, they're pretty much adjusted where they're in place. But I always recommend to do this no matter what. So that way after you free all these up, you get them cleaned and everything, you can put these roller rockers anywhere in the cylinder head because they are going to self-adjust once they get some oil pressure. Okay, another fun part. So easiest way to take these off is two poke tools so you'll see here there's little holes in the tappets they go around there's four holes in each tappet and you want to use two poke tools one on each side of the holes to slowly pull them out of the uh, roller rocker and you want to be very careful because the metal is a little bit soft so sometimes you got to work it around and use the different holes to pry it out. But here's an example. Let's see how easy this one is. Okay. So once you get them out, you'll see there. Center one's always the easiest one to get out. The sides are, uh, they take a little bit more. But once these are out, um, most of the times these are seized. See, this one's not not too bad but it's not compressing all the way the uh, easiest way to unseize these is either throw them in um, a cleaner or what i do is very simple is you put them in a s small vise and pretty much you just press them together and compress them and it'll free them up then afterwards i'll get all these tappets i'll throw them in a degreasing bucket let them sit for eight to 12 hours in that bucket, probably usually overnight. Next morning, take them out of the bucket, clean them, clean everything off, make sure you get all the degreaser off, and then I will throw them in an oil solution. So you want to get all the oil in everywhere, you want to work it around, so that way the oil gets within the tappets and it displaces the water. That way it's lubricated and also to prevent this from rusting. So these are metal, they'll rust, even stainless steel rusts. And that's pretty much it. So none to it. The uh, hydraulic rocker itself, same thing. Degrease them. So these are aluminum. Uh, the bearings are steel. Uh, on these, you wanna be careful with degreaser. So don't use something that's crazy like purple power or concentrated. Use some simple green or some 888. And all you have to do is soak them for about 30 minutes. They are gonna look brand new. After you soak them, same thing, dry them off, spray air, get all the degreaser off, 
and then soak them in some oil to displace all the water and so you get oil back in the bearings. Make sure you roll your bearings around, get oil in them. And then once you're all done with everything, it's very simple. Reassembly, clean hydraulic tappet, clean roller rocker. All you do is you push it back in and you wanna make sure that it seats at least until the roller rocker. So on the outsides, they'll actually push all the way in. Sometimes the center pushes in a little bit more. It's totally fine. They'll get self-adjusted once you start everything back up. And that way you have a nice freed up hydraulic tappets and your engine is not going to sound all crazy when you start it all up. And that's it. Hope that helps some people.